Hey Virgo, let's do your reading. We're going to do a love spread, but I just wanted to show you pre-shuffle real quick. So it looks like what I'm getting is there's something that you're hesitating on and um, we encourage you to take action. Okay, something that you're um, maybe delaying or procrastinating on something that could be really, really big. Big uh, message here coming through to you. Take the first step. Sometimes the first step is the hardest. And then once you take that first step, sometimes it's more, you know, in like momentum you need rather than motivation. So if you're think, trying to get motivated to do something, take those first few steps. The first taking steps towards a goal can actually release more dopamine than finishing it. So it's, it's often a momentum thing. And if so, you know, you're not feeling motivated or inspired, take those first steps and then watch, you know, how the rest starts to fall into place okay big and big big message though um i don't know if that's a warning i just feel a big message to take action okay oh my gosh there it is again holy moly even without knowing what's gonna what the outcome is okay so somebody's like trying to figure out um it's kind of like, I don't know what to do, or I don't know what's going to happen, or I can't see how this is going to play out with this moon, right? But it's, that's okay. You still need to take the first steps, okay? All right. How are you, Virgo? Please hit like and check your, if you guys would, um, you, those of you that aren't subscribed, please subscribe. And um, also what I'm doing now, and all the, at the end of all the videos, all the readings, I'm sharing like one of my, you know, health tips. It's either for health, wellness, happiness, success, that kind of thing at the very end. So stick around for that. And then also, if you would please, I would really appreciate you guys helping me get the channel back on track. So any kind of activity you want to help contribute, um, comments, thumbs up, you know, you can hit the forward button and copy the link. Um, and then also subscribers, if you would please tap the bell and hit click all so that you get notified because a lot of those settings got changed or are defaulted to the wrong, you know, to where you don't get notified for everything. Okay, look at that 10 of cups. So I am feeling a very, very positive reading. Okay. Hmm. Three of cups in reverse. So the three of cups is typically, you know, it's social, it's celebrating, but it's in reverse. So maybe too much isolation. Okay, recent past Knight of Wands, High Priestess, a Page of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse. Wow, Knight of Swords in reverse. This is all about not taking enough, not taking action. We got a good outcome though. Um, so the Devil card is, you know, it's obsession or it's a it's a tie. I think it's just this is like a, a momentum or a habit. See, here we go again. That needs to be. There's too much mental clutter in your mind. And I think taking action is going to clear that up more than trying to clear it up mentally. Okay. All these are in reverse. That's very strange. So two swords in reverse. That's getting unblocked. Starting again with this death card in reverse. Major progress. And yeah, this is all about like a major glow up, blow up. Um, and I think it's not going to be as hard as you think. I think it's just... A matter of you know taking those first steps so and it does have a lot to do with love here with that ten of cups let's start clarifying yeah ta again taking too long the, wow nine of pentacles I mean do this would very much imply um, there is a need also to, for due diligence, like to make sure you do your, your homework or your, you look into it, but just don't let that stop you from taking steps. Okay. Tell me about the 10 of cups though. What's the 10 of cups? Hmm. Not letting a tower fall, holding a tower up. So sometimes things need to fall so that we actually have that kind of like, you know, 
rock bottom feeling that gets us going again. I, I still, I, I want to do a love spread though. This is just, everything feels stalled out. Fool card. Need to jump, take a leap of faith. Jump into the unknown. There's a, there's kind of a feel of, I, you know, wanting to know the answers and the outcome and the steps rather than, even if you take, even if you make a mistake, it still is um, progress, okay? No, no, no movement is, is do, definite failure. F moving forward and taking action and, you know, making mistakes is, is still moving forward. You still come out ahead from where you started. Something is getting unblocked though and starting, like there is some major progress, but I still feel that whole, let's look at it. Let's get a love deck. Let's do love. But somewhere in your life, there is a message to take the, take the steps, take the first steps. I mean, very strong. And it's going to like start everything new is what it looks like. Okay. So let's do love. Let's do love. Who's coming towards Virgo? Temperance could be a Sagittarius. Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity about something, someone. Oh, communication. So you got communication coming that's going to um, clear things up. Maybe you need to instigate it, but this is kind of telling you who, who we're dealing with. Um, hmm. Looks like you're going to find out why somebody's holding back or was holding back or hesitant. Isn't that interesting since that was just such a big part of your last spread. Okay, what are their next actions? Five of Pentacles feeling left out. Queen of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. So the Emperor showed up on this last, those lot with that last deck also. Um, which is, you know, somebody that's very strong and stable and capable. And then we've got the unknown card. You don't know. Okay, Virgo, I feel like some of you just don't know your value. Oh, and I can relate. The Nine of Pentacles is independence. It could be independence, but it's also wealth. It's abundance. What is this Queen of Swords for this person? Oh, there could be another um, energy involved, a mother, a female, somebody that might get cut out. That somebody's, okay, somebody's going to break free from like a, maybe a controlling or an, an a, um, a strong influence. Hmm. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So there's that recognition that I feel like um, maybe there, we, we, you know, something's got you pretty beat down. What's outcome? The person, and the roles could be reversed, but it looks like the person you're dealing with is breaking free of something. I know, it could be a mother. Um, oh my gosh. Look what the outcome is. The lovers. Damn. And Wheel of Fortune. And Three of Pentacles working together. So I would say separate from this love spread in the last spread, there's a strong need to take action. I feel like that is towards your life. You're bettering yourself, your job, your projects, something major you need to take action on. Okay. Because that was just an overwhelming message. Um, it's going to get you unstuck. Okay, so when we overdwell on love and rejection type stuff, the best, absolute best thing is to put our energy and time into something else, something that builds us, something that makes us successful. And if you're having a hard time doing that, start with your physical moving. It's very, very difficult for most people to get motivated when their body's not moving. So start with physical, okay, physical activity. But you are going to find out there is communication coming and it's going to clear things up. But you just, I just can't, re I can't stress enough that other reading was so, the other spread was so powerful 
And I wasn't looking for that information. I was looking, you know, we were talking about love. So that other information was, it was just so strong that it just can't stop reminding you or feeling the need to remind you, don't let this slow you down in other areas, okay? But it does look like somebody that you're dealing with is breaking free of something else. Could be a wife or a mom. Looks like a female energy, somebody strong, somebody that's maybe helps them or resourceful. Um, and uh, you, you have a beautiful coming together here, Wheel of Fortune. But it, it's just so strong, gonna, gonna um, depend also on your, your, um, your mental state, your, your, the messages you're sending out into the universe, your confidence, you know. That's crazy beautiful though, definitely. Yeah. So something slow, something strong, stable, slow, stable coming in that you can't see. You don't see this coming, but it's going to be okay. And you got Queen, King of Pentacles now. So you've got something major coming. You just got to get going. Keep moving even when you don't want to. And watch your body. You you just start to do it and take the physical action. Your mind will follow. But this is love and money cooperation, a partnership, strong partnership, three of pentacles, working together towards a financial future possibly. Um, okay, so let me share with you my little new technique. I'm calling it the glow technique and I'm still working on it, but I'm doing this like in the comments when I read y'all's comments and, um, but anytime I vision, this is just, what I'm doing is when I think of someone I love, I'm just literally taking a few moments, holding some space to visualize them in a very positive light, like putting a glow around them. So I'll visualize them smiling, happy, you know, surrounded by love, surrounded by light, and um, just in a very abundant state. And I'll just, you know, visualize that and just really try to send that to them, that, that happy, healthy energy, especially if it's somebody that I'm worried about or I'm stressing about. Um, I just feel like if we, you know, it just, it seems to be just so powerful because especially when we worry about someone, you know, we've, we're, it's totally shifts the dynamic from that negative um, vibration to a positive vibration. And anyway, I wanted to teach that or share that with you guys. Um, to try and start, you know, if we can all like try and shift some of our thoughts. Sorry for the lawnmower, but um, yeah, so it's called the glow technique and I'm just, it, it does take some work, you know, to practice it and get in the habit. But every time I think of someone, a loved one, I'm trying to literally just take a few moments to visualize them in that positive energy. And of course we need to do it for ourselves as well. Okay. All right. So let's, I would love to hear how, let me get it to you guys an Oracle, but, um, I would love to hear how this, you know, how this resonated with you and, and whatnot. This is an extremely positive reading money and love and working together. Then maybe just, it would just have that huge message to take some steps. Time to go. So whatever that means to you, time to go. New life. Oh my gosh, you guys. So here we go. Exactly what we were saying. Time to go. It's time to take this, take action, make a move. What towards the new life? We talked about that right now. You're just kind of between worlds. And when you're not taking action, you're going to feel this gray cloud. You're going to feel unmotivated, undriven, unclear. And it, it, it would take see, the step forward. Taking a step forward is going to get you started. Three, that three is popping out at me too. But look, time to leave this past dynamic behind. Get going towards this new life. Love it. Happy. Happy, happy. All right, Virgo. Powerful reading. I love you guys so much. Let's say hi in the comments, and I will see you soon. Bye, Virgo.